Billboards popping up around Bear County causing some concern. The union for Bear County Sheriff's deputies put them up to highlight what they say is a lack of patrols in certain areas. But Sheriff Javier Salazar says the claims ring untrue. The night team's John Paul Barajas looks into the controversy. I want to feel protected. Uh one deputy for a whole area like that just seems well underserviced. You need more patrols in that area to help secure the citizens. These are the initial reactions of residents who are seeing three new billboards in parts of Bear County for the first time. They read, only one deputy assigned to patrol all of Alamo Ranch, only three DWI deputies for all of Bear County, and off 35 in O'Connor, one states, only one deputy assigned to this area at night. Educate the community about how uh, short staffed we are out in those areas. And hopefully it would start a firestorm to help us get more staffing. The signs are put up by the Deputy Sheriff's Association, what Association President Jeremy Payne calls education. Others call misinformation. That is actually false. You know, they're aside from our patrol staffing, we also have various specialized units, our street crimes unit, our gang unit, uh, our DWI traffic units are, are out and about. Our, our warrant teams are out and about. Our score unit is out and about. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar says there's actually four patrolling deputies for the Alamo Ranch area. He did confirm that currently there is only three designated DWI deputies in the county, but that all are trained to enforce DWI laws. And says the area near 35 and O'Connor is primarily patrolled by SAPD. He adds he's worried the billboards are also a dog whistle to criminals who might think the area areas in question are easy targets. If they would like to assist with said recruiting efforts, maybe take the money that they're wasting on, on senseless billboards and help us with, with our recruitment efforts. Payne's response, hiring isn't the issue, retention is. The problem that we have at the sheriff's office is once they come work for the sheriff, they don't wanna stay. And so I don't know why that is. Now, we asked the association president where he got the information for his billboards, but he told us that he could not reveal his sources at this time. Now, for the Bear County Sheriff's Office, they say they've been uh, retaining and hiring deputies in several different ways, one of which is getting rid of a prior requirement that stated new hires had to spend two years in the detention center side before being able, uh, being able to move over to patrol. They no longer have to do that. They can be hired and go straight to hitting the streets, but they do still need to have a peace officer's license. At the Bear County Sheriff's Office, John Paul Barajas, KSAT, 12 News.